Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about how to verify, how to check a page is loaded or not in Selenium. Because this is very important because in our applications, sometimes the page is not going to be loaded, few elements are going to be loaded, but some few elements are not going to be loaded. I mean, in the total page, half page is going to be loaded, some page is not going to be loaded. So how can we verify, how can we validate that a page is completely loaded or not, right? So this we can check by using JavaScript executor. In JavaScript executor, we are having document dot ready state. That is uh, this command uh, document dot ready state identifies the loading status of a document. We can use this um, document dot ready state to interact with page at a certain loading states. That is document dot ready state has the three possible states. First one is loading, second one is interactive and third one is complete. So this document dot ready state is having three possible states. The one is loading, loading and second one is interactive and third one is complete, complete. Now, so loading. So whenever it is in loading, so what happens? Document is being passed or loaded and uh, CSS, uh, my images and uh, other resources are not being loaded. So whenever it is in interactive stage, I mean, document has been passed or loaded and uh, CSS images and other resources uh, are still being or passed or loaded. Whenever it is in complete state, uh, complete, uh, the document has been completely loaded and the uh, CSS images and have been loaded. That is, uh, whenever it is complete state, uh, it means uh, document has been loaded and CSS uh, images and all uh, sub resources have been loaded right so now see here now let me take one example so that you will get clarity now see here what I am doing let me write a small small example now create one class new class now I'm taking page load test. Now, so just now I said, right? So we can implement these with by using JavaScript executor, right? So this JavaScript executor is having one method called execute script. So we need to convert our um, driver to JavaScript executor and then on the JavaScript executor, we need to call execute script method. So already I discussed in the later videos as well. So JavaScript executor is an interface, right? Yes, and it's having two methods, execute script and execute asynchronous script. Now see here what I'm doing. Now let me launch the Chrome browser. Now let me enter web driver. https colon double slash www.gmail.com uh, just observe here what I am doing now let me web driver dot find element by dot id now I am writing identifier id that element is an element is having id is equal to identifier id so it identifies all the elements and returns first matching element from the node if it is having multiple elements if it is having only it identifies the first one username now username dot clear username dot 
send keys ramesh soft dot selenium at gmail dot com same way now sir what i am doing so here i want to wait for the password and the total page is displayed or not now see here what i am doing let me write javascript executor javascript executor and convert this one let me convert my web driver to javascript executor now i am going to get javascript object now javascript executor object now yes now see here what i am doing now this by using the javascript executor i want to wait till the page is loaded so javascript dot we are having one method in javascript called execute script now now i am writing so written written document document dot ready state so it has three states right so um, loading interactive complete so whenever it is it returns complete then we can say the total document is loaded and total css images and all other resources have been loaded right so now what i am doing just observe here now the second parameter is optional we know that this is a var argument right so if you want to get specifier else not required now leave this remove this comma dot uh, let me convert this to two string and dot uh, equals uh, equals now i am writing equals complete complete i mean if this one returns if this one returns uh, equals i mean this one returns uh, complete uh, then complete equals complete then i can say it is what the total page is loaded total page is loaded now what i am doing just observe here now so this total is going to return boolean value now let me take into one boolean let me take one boolean variable boolean something i am taking d now let me take some meaningful status now if status if it is returning true then i can say syso page is loaded completely completely else else syso of page is not loaded completely so see here so here what i am doing i am converting my driver to javascript executor and i am getting the javascript executor object we know that javascript executor is an interface and um, this javascript executor interface is having two methods one is execute script one more is execute asynchronous script now when i here i am calling execute script by passing the command call or return document dot ready state if the document is passed and loaded completely then this returns uh, complete if this complete dot equals of complete means uh, if it is loaded successfully it returns complete complete means yes sir it is loaded now if both are equal this complete and this complete are equal then returns what status is equal to true if status is equal to true i am writing page is loaded completely if it is false then page is not loaded completely right and even one more approach also we can do it sometimes our page uh, may not been loaded up to in our in our expectation so that time if you want we can go through in this way as well now see here what i am doing i am taking one for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than 30 i plus plus so i am writing a loop this will rotate 30 times this will rotate 30 times to check if page is ready after every one second now see here now what I am doing, let me keep in try, now let me write thread dot sleep, now handle the exception, exception E, 
now see here what i am doing now inside this try block inside this catch block i am writing the code in this way so first it is coming loop 0 0 less than 30 true yes wait for one second rise wait for one second and check for the water element right now see here after this uh, here i'm writing if means uh, s y s o page is loaded completely if else means else means s y s o waiting for the page waiting for the page right so once if it is loaded completely then i don't want to iterate this loop then simply write the what is that just write a break statement simply when it is loaded successfully now see here first time 0 0 less than 30 true and then wait for one second and uh, it won't come to catch block now see here now if it is not ready no problem false else and again one one less than 30 it is waiting for one second yes in this case the page is completely loaded yes it is true then it will come to if block and then here i'm writing what break break means it comes out of the for loop it won't wait for the till it won't iterate the loop for what 30 iterations that is once it is done i'm saying come out of it right now see here what i'm doing let me comment this one second approach as of now now see here what i'm doing let me run this program right click run as java application just observe output what happens yes i said right every chrome driver is going to run on port number yes browser is initialized Oh, white con site con breached somewhere we did mistake okay ww now let me run this program right click run as java application yes now see here so the page is loaded completely or not yes so this is the way to verify the complete page is loaded or not because this is the common issues that we are going to face in the real time right so sometimes that angular js react js some pages sometimes our applications will be very slow so that time this is the best and good approach to verify to cross check um, how to cross check whether the, our page is completely loaded or not with the javascript executor right so thanks for watching the video have a good day Thank you so much.